our Einstein Salon. This is Johnny and this is Zhechun. Hi everyone. Hi Zhechun. So we recently got lots of questions and inquiries about Geometric Essentials mm -hmm. after we made the webinar about Geometric Essentials 101. Okay, and in today's video, we're gonna answer your questions and hope this video can help you have a better understanding for this powerful software. All right, so let's go for the first question. Sure. So the first question is, where do I download the latest update for Geometric Essentials? Okay, uh, you can always go to our einscan.com website and you will go to the download center from the support section and then you will find the Geometric download link. From there, you can have the, our latest version of the Geometric Essentials. Mm -hmm. And also, you can always go to the I mean, you can log in to the passport.shinings3d.com, download the, your scan software, and also as well as the geometric essentials. Yeah, sure, I remember there are also lots of other materials for you to learn yeah. about the guidance, the tips, mm -hmm. right? All yeah. right, okay, so the second question, let's see. Uh, can I activate the new version when I already use the old one? By the way, I have the red bundle. Yeah, uh, I mean, I believe some customers, maybe they are still using the Geomagic version one. Uh, right now, the latest version is V2.0.2.3001. Just remember to deactivate the older version before mm -hmm. you activate the newer version. Yes. Okay, and the third question? Is it possible to use Geometric Essentials on two different computers? Um, it is possible, but uh, just remember, uh, one Geometric Essential license code can only activate one computer. Right. So if you are going to use it on another computer, so you have to deactivate on the previous one and then activate on the another computer. Okay, so it means the same time you can only use it in one yes. computer, but if you want to move it, there is a way to do that. Yes. All right, next question. What is the minimum requirement for hardware to use Geometric Essentials? For the OS, uh, the system, the mm -hmm. system you're using, uh, the minimum requirements is yeah. a Windows uh, 8.1. And we recommend using a Windows 10 okay, 64 right. bit. And okay. as for the CPU, uh, any CPU is fine, but just to make sure that the minimum uh, frequency is above than 2.0 gigahertz. All right. And you uh, need to have a, at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. Mm -hmm. And for the GPU, uh, just to make sure the OpenGL version of your GPU is above than 4.0 and uh, at least have two gigabytes of VRAM. So generally just to make sure your system and your drivers are you know, up they to date. Correct. Yeah, yeah, so it, it will be fine. Okay, yes. okay so next, uh, why can we move the scan in Geometric Essentials? Mm -hmm. It is only possible to rotate them Oh, I think you want to ask like how to pan the model. So yeah, uh, somehow. just uh, press and hold the out function <coughs> button and uh, the uh, middle button of the your mouse, which is a scroller, mm -hmm. and then you're able to move the model. Okay, so uh, I mean, somehow maybe when they want to move the model, there is also a way I remember in the function bars, you mm -hmm. can move it. Mm -hmm. uh, by the coordinates, mm -hmm. X, yes. Y, Z, yes. right? Yes, so there is functions like this to move it. All right, next question, uh, it's the sixth question. Is there a modeling history in GE? Sometimes I can reverse some functions that I run, right? After, for example, 10 times of Control and Z mm -hmm. retracted, and then it stops, go back. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say um, currently the Geometric Essentials not support uh, editing history. Uh, every changes before you click, before you click in apply, uh, you can go back, you can always go back, but mm -hmm. after you click apply, which means the change has been made and then you can not able to reverse it. Oh, right. So it's different with traditional CAD software, right? Yes. It's more to the synchronous way of the modeling. Mm -hmm. It's not there is a history tree. It's not like that. But yes. uh, for this one, what you've done is done. Yes. But right. somehow you can extract some simple steps. Yes. So just do. All right. Uh, but I think we can, maybe we can like put this idea and get back to the 3D system and see if they can do something with this section. Maybe. Okay, next. So, how to do mesh alignment? 
uh, how to do a mesh alignment. Um, is it means that you have two mesh models and you want to align them together? Yeah, it could be, for example, uh, when we do scans, normally we will uh, do in different projects, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, there will be maybe two meshes imported into these uh, geometric instantials. Okay, and then uh, there is a registration function in the geometric essentials. Uh, we have the global registration or mm -hmm. the manual registration. Okay. Uh, you can use this two mm -hmm. method to align two models. Okay. And also you can align the model to the world coordinates. All right, that's great. Okay, next question. I think this question would be similar to the mm -hmm. previous one. Mm -hmm. It is asking about how to merge two different meshes together. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, it will be similar, but for mesh them uh, together, I think uh, besides the ones you mentioned, global, manual, registration, yeah, yeah. and maybe there is some way to combine them into one mesh. Yeah, uh, so apparently after you mesh, they are mm -hmm. still separated. Yeah, and then you two need, pieces. Right? Yes, yeah. And then you need the Brunier function to mer like, uh, merge them together. Okay, so it's like add it on each other, or you can do minors, something like that. Yes. Okay. All right, let's see the next question. How to improve the 3D model quality through post-processing in geometric essentials? Oh, uh, there is a remesh and a refine function in geometric essentials, which mm -hmm. means you can like, uh, can create more triangles yep. and to ref then you will have a much better detail, something right. like that. Yeah, so okay. you can try that. That's useful. And next, uh, at the whole feeling function, is there a way to smooth the contour of the mm -hmm. hole? Oh, uh, so this means like uh, sometimes you uh, you make like uh, delete some areas and it's yeah the uh, mesh the hole. yes yeah but the triangle the angles will be there uh -huh, it's not yes. smooth it's kind of rough mm -hmm. yeah so uh, this can this can be achieved by using the uh, relax boundary function uh, you can go mm. to the scan and scan section uh, modify relax boundary and generate right. uh, G has a powerful feeling and editing capability. Abilities. All right, okay. So you can try it out for you maybe relax the boundary first and then fill the hole. Mm -hmm. But actually, yeah, like you said, I think generally uh, for GE, the hole filling function is very powerful. So usually you, we don't need to do yeah, that relaxing. Do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, the 11th question, what if our scan includes one small hole we wish to keep? Mm -hmm. Can we fill all holes except the, for the ones we want to keep? For example, currently we can um, define a size, mm -hmm. which means um, yeah, which all the size within that range will be selected, selected and filled, right? Mm -hmm. What about the way we want to do it in a reverse way? Mm -hmm. uh, I like explored the software a bit and found mm -hmm. uh, you can use the uh, uh, you can hold the control and the left mouse button and uh, click the hole that you want to, that you don't want to be filled, okay. which means like unselect that hole. Okay, yeah, that's the, that's the, the way, one way, one to, one do way yeah, yeah, okay. to do that. So no automatic way. Yes. All right, currently, currently no, we can yes. see that. All right, next question. After auto surface, there will be a lot of small surfaces. So when we check using another CAD software, mm -hmm. right, there will be small surfaces there. Uh, can we just eliminate this and export it as the single surface? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think your question is like uh, you added your model and actually there is some like small floating parts around the main body. So uh, for this, you can use a manifold function to delete the unwanted small parts. Okay, so next question. The patch will become very complex if our scan data has rough urge. Mm -hmm. Can we simplify or straighten the urge so the patchwork is more simplified? Mm -hmm. So uh, 
So when you have the patch, actually you have some like control points. All right, like, and uh, the control lines. Yes. yes. So uh, you could try uh, the boundaries and uh, added the boundary feature. So mm -hmm. if you reduce the control point of quantity, and then you will have a much smoother edge. All right, that's a great method. And next one, it's, I think it's quite a simple one. Mm -hmm. Can you do single surface thickening? Uh, give a thickness to a single surface? Yes, uh, I mean, if the, that surface is isolated, mm -hmm. then you can just uh, select that mm -hmm. and use the thicken or the shear function to thick the surface. All right, so that's the existing function already. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay, so next, so auto surfacing again. So maybe uh, for this customer, they want to learn more about auto surface editing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think this is like a, a very big topic. Yeah. So uh, I would suggest you to check our webinar. You can always go to this website to check our latest webinar. So we've already discussed about it in our Geomagic Essentials 101 webinar. Yes. Right. All right, Correct. so check out the webinar, all right? And the 16th question, can we export as a single surface for half bowl shape? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's possible. My, I mean, just by simply using the auto surface function. Okay. And all the patches will be created automatically and then you can export to, to the CAD software. So yeah, it will be a NURB surface. Yes, okay. correct. Okay, good. And the next question? how to bring it into solid age? Well, uh, I mean, just like the previous question, uh, mm -hmm. after you do like auto surfacing or you create the patch by your yeah. own, and then you can save it as IGS mm -hmm. or a step file, which can be opened by a lot of CAD software. Yeah. Yeah, so, and also for this section, we also covered it in the uh, Ge uh, Geometrics 101 webinar, so check that webinar. All right. Okay, so 18th question, oh, it's quite a long one, let's read it. Mm -hmm. Regarding the exportation and auto surface, mm -hmm. is there no way to use the boundaries or the curves, free curves as a guide sketch on a different CAD besides solid edge? Um, it's possible. I mean, uh, any software, just uh, if they are able to import a, a like IGS mm -hmm. step file, mm -hmm. files, uh, they all works. Like software okay. works, it's compatible with the GE, func GE uh, yeah. software. So simply saying that actually G or Magic Essentials is a bridge between the scan yes. and the CAD software. Yes. Traditional CAD software, yes, you can say correct. that. Okay, 19th question. How do we transfer the file to CAD software so that the data we extracted stays arranged? Mm -hmm. Not all the detail move to the other software. Okay, uh, I think maybe it is because like uh, the features or the model they are not in the like same coordinates. Oh yeah. So uh, this can be done when you like export the models. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have already done like create features or auto surfacing in the geometric essentials. Yeah. So when you uh, like click uh, export the model, just make sure like you tick all reference and the features you mm -hmm. have done in the geometric essentials, and then. You can save it, save all of them as a single file by taking the saving as a single file. Then all the features and the reference will uh, align in the same coordinates and they are staying arranged. All right, good, good. Okay, so next question. How to extract clean polylines for laser cutting? Well, um, I think we usually done this in like CAD software, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it, it is possible to draw a polyline lines, any yeah. lines in geometric essentials, yes. right? But just uh, they don't have a dimension bounding. Mm -hmm. yep. Right. You, you never know that if you draw the lines in the correct position. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I would suggest you that do this in the CAD software, like Solid Age. Yeah. So in CAD software, it will be parametric designing way, but for mesh thing, it is uh, for simple triangles on the surface. Yes. So it's not exact uh, when you 
draw the line, you don't know the exact size of it. Yes, because everything you've done in geometric sense is just based on your eye observation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. And the 21st question, how to flatten skin surface for creating custom skins? Um, Currently, um, geometric essentials doesn't support that. Okay. Yeah, okay. So uh, maybe there are some yeah, there are third some, party yeah, there softwares. Some third party softwares that can do that. And I yeah. think the flatten he means is something like, for example, you scan a surface, mm -hmm. curved surface, and it will somehow crash it mm -hmm. into the flatten surface. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is very like usable when you are doing some uh, like packaging or okay. some like. Uh, uh, the PPF, the, yeah, the for cars, PPF called for cars, a few, right. correct. So uh, we do have some source. So uh, maybe you guys can come up to us and uh, maybe we can yeah, introduce we can. you some about it. Yeah. Right. Okay. The twenty-second question: How to create functional parts? For example, accurate hole dimensions and how to correct grid errors after the auto surface function is used. Mm, okay, so um, the position accuracy is really depends on the mesh. Yeah, mm -hmm. So a complete and high accuracy mesh results can provide a better reference, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, uh, but uh, or if you know the position relationship, uh, position relationship uh, relations of each mm -hmm. part, mm -hmm. and you can draw them just uh, directly draw them in the CAD. Oh right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so, so that's um, answered the question. I the think, final one. Yeah, I think the final it should one. be answered by you. So uh, what's okay. the selling point of this software? Okay, so yeah, it will be answered yeah, by you. This is me. a very like complex software. Okay, so complex. I would like to um, discuss it, it about it a little bit. So mm -hmm. for this question, I think um, you are asking about why choose Geometry Essentials yes, among all of those softwares, right? Yes. Okay, so as we all know, most CAD softwares are not good at dealing with mesh data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will either be very slow or need some plug-in to help with the mesh processing, right? Yes, yes. Uh, which is usually not that budget or the function of the plug-in is not that powerful like Geometric Essentials. Yes. And Geometric Essentials as a standalone software works as a bridge between mesh data to CAD, like I, what we just discussed right now, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so not only can it optimize mesh, like refine or reduce the size of mesh and the filling holes, but also it extracts features for reference and does auto surfacing for complicated shapes. Mm -hmm. Right, so then you can just save those features and the NURB surfaces as a CAD readable format, like what you introduced yeah, just it's now. Yeah, a standard yeah. file. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, I believe for this solution, it would be very affordable. So if you look at other software that does a sim similar work, yeah, or achieve a similar function, mm -hmm. uh, I think the geometric essentials could be very, uh, like we like. You yeah, know, affordable for, for the price point. Uh, but if you want to learn more about geometric essentials, just please contact us and we would like to share more and discuss more with you to see if your application could be improved through geometric essentials. Yeah. So, uh, like, uh, so uh, I will make a conclusion. So, it's like, mm -hmm. uh, Overall, geometric essentials have a very powerful function. It has a very good algorithm and it processes and match very good. Yeah. And uh, another point is it, it has a very affordable price. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this two, like I mean, these two advantages makes it it's kind of a very unique software. I mean, affordable means comparing to other software yes, achieving yes, the correct. same functions, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> correct. Okay, so I think that's all the questions today. We've answered all of it. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching today's video. And if you have any questions further, just uh, please leave it comment below and or send us a ticket on support.inscan.com. And we shall come back to you soon. Right. Yes. Right. So yeah. So if you like this video, please give us a thumb up and share this video. Yeah, share it below. Yes. Bye everyone. Yeah. See you next time.